Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to understand jump or branching statements. Jump statement, as the name suggests, branching statement in Java are used to jump from one statement to other statement. Thereby, they transfer the flow of execution. As you can see, there are three jumping statements, break, continue, return. We're going to understand them one by one. So first is break statement. The break statement in Java terminates the loop immediately and the control of the program moves to next statement following the loop. It is almost always used with the decision making statements like Java's if statements. Because whenever you use break statement, it's going to terminate the execution then and there. So it is mostly used in decision making statements of Java that is if else or switch statements. Let's see how it exactly works. So we're going to move for the practical implementation. In this example, I'm going to show you how we use it in for loop so that you can understand its implementation in a better way. So let's say four, I want to display from one to 10. So I will initiate by I. So I'll write int I. I'm starting it with one. Condition is I should work till less than equal to 10. Then I want to increment the loop. So I plus plus. So this is my for loop. I'm going to start block of code with curly braces. So let's say here we want to write if i is equal to 5 break. Otherwise system dot out dot println and display i. In simple words, keep on displaying value of i but whenever it will reach 5, stop the execution then and there. Let me make it more readable. So this is how the code is. I'm saying this start i from 1. Check this condition, increment it and display it. Keep on working on it, but check this condition. So whenever i will become 5, execution will stop then and there. So this is how break works. Break can be used anywhere. Wherever you want to terminate the execution, depending upon some conditions, you can use break. Now it will stop the execution and come out of the loop. Let's see how it works. So we're going to execute it. See, one, two, three. But when it reached five, when I become five, execution terminated and came out of the loop. So rest of the values are not being displayed. It stopped at four. So guys, this is how break statement works. In simple word, break statement will terminate a loop and break the current flow of a program. Next is continue statement. Let's understand its definition first and then we'll proceed with the practical implementation. The continue statement skip the current iteration of a loop. For example, for while do or while loop. After the continue statement, the program moves to the end of the loop. In order to jump to the next iteration of the loop, we make use of continue statement. In simple words, if you want your code to come out of the loop temporarily, you're going to use continue statement. So difference in break and continue statement is break statement will permanently come out of the loop, whereas continue statement will temporarily come out of the loop and will again start the execution. So we're going to have more clarity on it with practical implementation. So here, this is my break statement. If you see in break, you came out of the loop permanently. So if I replace this break with continue, let's see how it works. So whenever I will be five, it will come out of the loop temporarily and then execution will again start. So we will understand this, how it works in this. I'm starting with I as one. This is the condition. And I want this loop to increment. I'm saying whenever i is 5, come out of the loop, then again continue with the execution. Look at this, guys. We get 1, 2, 3, 4. When it became 5, it came out of the loop, then continue with 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is what continue is. Whenever the condition is true, it came out of the loop temporarily. That's why you can't see 5 over here. Then it again continued with the rest of the statements. Then 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So only for this condition, it came out of the loop. But after that, again, execution started. Whereas if I write break, it stops the execution then and there. It will terminate the execution of statements then and there. So guys, that is how break and continue statement work. 
सो गैज वी विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग रिटर्न स्टेटमेंट इन आर कमिंग विडियोज बिकॉज रिटर्न स्टेटमेंट यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड विद द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मैथड क्रिएशन सो फर्स्ट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू क्रिएट मैथड्स एंड देन वी विल अकम्पनी रिटर्न स्टेटमेंट इन एट सो इन दिस वीडियो वी अंडरस्टूड हाउ ब्रेक एंड कंटिन्यू स्टेटमेंट वर्क एंड वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दैम दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस वीडियो थैंक्स फॉर नाउ